Howdy, howdy. This is Mr. Potter. Today we're going to talk about how to set up Java and jCreator in our Windows environment. I've got Windows 7 set up over here, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my internet browser. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to java.oracle.com. And Java was originally written by the Sun Corporation, but Oracle since purchased it. Uh, this is where we're going to get our JDK, or our Java Development Kit. And so I'm going to go over here to New Downloads. Uh, here is the Java SC7 Update 25. You're going to want to get whatever the most recent version of Java is. Uh, and you're going to go click that. The, most, the latest update is what you're looking for. And you're looking for the Java platform, the JDK, this Java Development Kit. You don't need the NetBeans. We're not going to be using them in this class. And you also don't want the JRE, the Java Runtime Environment, because that's not going to have what we need to write and run programs. Programs. We're going to want the Java platform, the JDK. And so I'm going to click here, and it gives us a lot of choices, but we're mostly interested in these bottom two choices. I'm going to be choosing the Windows X64 because I'm using a 64-bit operating system. If you're using an older operating system, you're probably going to want to use the 32-bit operating system, which is the x86. But you're going to want to click on this link here uh, after you have accepted the license agreement. So I'm going to go ahead and click Accept. And then I'm going to click on this downloadable. And you may choose to right click to save as, to save to a particular folder. But this is going to be saved into my downloads folder on my drive. So we've got about 30 seconds left. Two, one, zero. And now it's here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Um, you'll usually get some type of confirmation asking if you actually want to run this program. In this case, it's from a trusted source, so we're going to click Yes. So it's going to ask us if we want to do this. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Uh, everything here is already selected the way that we want. We don't have to change anything and so it should start loading. And so the first thing it's going to do is extract this installer and this installer is going to actually finish installing the runtime environment. So I'm going to click Next to make sure it gets installed to the right place. And the default folder is perfectly fine. And so we're going to wait a bit. And so after it's finished downloading and installing all of these files, we're going to go ahead and select Close. And then we're ready to download the jCreator program. The jCreator program can be got at jCreator.org, but you have to type in your email address in order to download it. The best way to do that would be to go to our S files. And of course, when you go to S files, you're going to have to type in your username and your password. Your username will be your student ID number prefaced with the letter S. So it would be like S012345. And your password is going to be the first four letters of your last name and the last four digits of your social security number. So we're going to go ahead and log in to our S files account. And in our S files, we have access to our H drive, is where the students can store their personal stuff, but we also have the S drive, which is where your teachers will put stuff out for you to, to access. To get into what your teachers have to access, you're going to choose the Templates folder, double-clicking, then the Math folder for me, and I am Mr. Potter, so this is Potter T. I'm going to go to the other Templates folder. We're going to go to the Computer Science 1 folder. 
and we're going to see the folder that says Java installation files. I'm going to go ahead and double click there and I want the jcrea500 underscore setup.exe. I'm going to click the get button to get that. And that will set this down here. Three, two, one, zero. Zero. And then we'll go ahead and click to run. Of course, it's going to ask us for confirmation if we really want to run, because this does change some of our system files. We're going to click Next. We're going to accept the license agreement. And we're going to go ahead and let it install to our default folder. And since our folder doesn't exist, it needs to be created. So we're going to click Yes. Uh, we'll put something in the Start menu as well, so it's easy for us to access. And it'd be nice if it created a desktop icon as well, so we can just double click from our desktop. So this is going to install the program for us. And once we do that, make sure your checkbox is launched to launch the jcreator le, because we need to set it up with our JDK. So it's a it's a very simple series of steps. We're going to save our settings per user so that we have access to it, but it doesn't change the settings for anyone else. The file associations, we're going to leave those exactly the same and click Next. Uh, our JDK folder, we need to tell the computer where to find Java. So we're going to go to our browse. We're going to go to our computer. We're going to go to our local disk drive. We're going to go to program files. And under program files, we're going to have Java. And then this is the JDK that we downloaded. Once that folder is highlighted, we're going to click OK. And now I see that folder in the dialog box, so I can click Next. And we don't have Java docs for this class, so that's not something to worry about. We're going to go ahead and click Finish. And this is going to set up jcreator for us. There are a few settings that we'll need to do to make our jcreator look like the jcreator at school. Um, I personally do not like it to show tips at startup. I like to just go straight into my programming. I'm going to go to configure and then I'm going to go to options. I'm going to go to my Java. I'm going to expand this. Well first I'm going to check show line numbers because I, I like to know which line number the error that it's telling me so I can find it. I'm going to expand this box. I'm going to change my font. Uh, Courier new, but a 10 would be a little bit better for me. You can change it to whatever size you need to. Uh, we're going to make sure that our JDK profiles, we have the JDK 1.7.0, and that should be uh, sufficient for us. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and then OK. And the second thing that I need to do is I'm going to go to View and make sure that File View is on. You're going to need this File View in order to find the files that we're going to be dealing with. And I don't like this Start page, but we're going to go ahead and create a new file. We're going to have an empty Java file, and we're going to call this Hello World. Notice that there's no spaces in here. Java. I'm going to change the location because I would really rather have this on my desktop. And I'm going to click Finish. Now we're going to type our program. So to type our program, we're going to do public class hello world. And we're going to open up some braces here. We're going to type in public static void main string args open and close brackets opening another set of braces and we're going to system dot out dot print line quote hello world close parentheses and semicolon now Java will occasionally move some of these lines around, so you need to make sure your parentheses are balanced, your quotation marks are balanced, your braces are balanced, and so forth. And we'll talk more about that in class. I can press this button to compile and this button to run. So I'm going to compile my program, make sure there's no errors on here, which it says process completed. 
and when I run it I should see a little box down here that says hello world. So we've got Java and jCreator up and running. If you have any questions please feel free to leave a message in the comments or to email me at uh, the school address and I thank you for watching. Have a good day.